All right, so today is Labor Day. All businesses are closed in the US, but I thought I will come down, do some work. We have a lot of devices that we need to get fixed. So what I did is I picked a few devices at random in no specific order, just at random. Uh, we have a motherboard here. Customer said missing charging port should be easy. We have a MacBook motherboard here. This looks like a MacBook Air and customer said will not boot. He only mailed in the motherboard and nothing else. We also have a USB flash drive. Customer said it's bent and they need data recovery. Should be easy. We'll see. We'll take a look right here. And I also want to work on a desktop. We got in on Friday. Customer said that it will not power on and he wants it done as soon as possible. So we'll check and see what's going on with that desktop. I'm hoping that I can combine all four devices in one video. We'll see. I hope I can get to those devices quick so I have time to reorganize my desk here and do other things in the shop. Let's take a look at this board here. Missing port. Missing port means there was a prior repair attempt. <laughs> and people wonder why I get mad when there's a prior repair attempt on a device. I'm not going to work on this device. Look at this. Look at this. So this is done. Let's put it on the side. Let's work on the USB flash drive. Now, customer said the drive is bent. Uh, I do not see it as being bent, but maybe there's something else going on with the drive. It does look like it may be wobbling a bit. I do not see any broken pins. Let's see if those pins are solid. This one is solid. Okay, and this one looks like it's broken right here. That's it. That's our problem. Maybe we can scratch the mask here and expose the copper. And I'll just add one solder blob there. So it's clear that the line is cut off from here. What I'm going to do is apply a solder blob so we can connect those two pieces. I do not see a need to solder a wire. Okay, that should be enough. If that works, that would be the fastest data recovery we've ever done. Do we charge the customer less? Of course not. Job is a job if it takes us three days to do or one second. Customer is not paying more when it takes us three days to fix it. So it's either a win or lose situation for us. Right there. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, right there. I see the files. So I'm going to quickly copy those files and proceed with the next device. So this one here, we're going to be using the phone's camera. Customer said it's not powering on. The first thing I want to do is check the power supply just to see if it's good. And of course, we need to supply power to the power supply. So we need to have this. We need to plug it in. Press the button, and power supply is good. Power supply looks good. Let me try to power it on quick. It's on. <laughs> wow. Customer said it doesn't power on. It's on. 
Let me try to plug it into an HDMI cable and see if we see anything on the screen. It's powering up right now. Yeah, right there. Right there. It's working. Keyboard error. We do not have a keyboard plugged in, but the computer is working. Customer's USB drive just finished copying the files. Very good. So let me just take it out and put it on the side. Looks like Monday is our lucky day. Three devices fixed in five minutes. Now let's take a look at this MacBook Air motherboard and see if it's gonna be an easy fix or if it's gonna take time to figure out. The first thing I wanna do is plug power and see if we have a green light. Uh, we do have a green light and we have an orange light. Okay, so our 3.42 volt rail is good. Let me just do a quick physical inspection on the board to see if we see anything obvious. No signs of liquid damage. And also no signs of a prior repair attempt. Just clean as we go on, so we do not miss anything. Quick physical inspection. What are we looking for? We are looking to see if there is any signs of liquid damage on the board. We want to look to see if somebody tampered with the board, if work was done on the board. If yes, what area of the board work was done on. We want to see if there are any possibly knocked off components. Any corrosion, any burn marks, any chips with holes, any cracked diodes, whatever the case may be. Physical inspection can tell you a lot and it can make your life easier if it's visible on the board. But so far we do not see anything obvious on the board. And we see something obvious here, a DSL chip. This is very important. This takes in DC from the power supply and it makes G3 hot, which is the main power rail for the board. We're gonna test the current sense resistors just to make sure everything is good here but in the meantime let me just go on with inspecting the board signs of corrosion Before we do anything else, let me test. I mean, we did not do anything to the board other than clean corrosion, but uh, why not test? We have a green light. We have, and the fan is spinning. <laughs> the fan is spinning. Look at this. And the CPU is hot also. Let me inspect the board under the thermal cam. I'm gonna be holding the thermal cam by hand because as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, the mount broke. The mount is sold separately. So I already have one on order. It should be here uh, this week. Somebody in the comments offered to 3D print a mount and he asked that we send him the old one so he can 3D print a new one. Uh, I'm curious how that will come out. Maybe I'll take him up on his offer and send him the old one and see how it goes. 
Anyway, let's turn the thermal cam on. And look at that. CPU is hot, very good. The fan is working. Okay, so if you look here, heat sink is hot. CPU gets hot and heat is transferred via the middleman, the thermal paste, onto the heat sink. Heat sink gets hot and the fan blows on the heat sink to cool it down. Look at this, look at this area of the heat sink here. This area here, fan is blowing on it to cool it down. Board is working. I mean, <laughs> I was getting ready to test voltage rails on the board to see what's going on, but uh, we got lucky with this one also. I cannot believe all the repairs were easy today. I wish all repairs are that easy. I think that's it for today. I want to take advantage of today being a holiday. No customers coming in. I have the door closed and I have the phone on do not disturb. I need to organize the bench here and other stuff in the store. I'm recording this video from my cell phone. As you can see, I really need to organize. This is what happens when you get very busy. You do not have time to clean up. So you just wait for times like this when there's a holiday so you can organize and clean up. We have all the urgent repairs here, uh, all the local ones here. This is the one that we just did. We just unplugged and replugged the power supply and computer came alive. Let me take you inside here to show you the mailings that we have. We have an iPad 12.9 here that we need to get done. Another tablet. Mercedes Benz key, two Mazda keys, Samsung phone, what's wrong with this one? Charging and boot. Okay. This looks like an iPad mini 4, iPhone, black no display. We have another iPhone here and we have, this looks like a Benz remote. Spectre laptop, of course, MacBook, Nintendo Switch, another 12.9 inch, another 12.9 inch, and this one looks like it's an older tablet. And what's this here? Oh, flash drive data recovery, okay. We have Nintendo Switch here. We have uh, two Minimax diesel tuners here. We have a Bensky. And this is the board that we decided not to work on. We have two Mazda keys here. Oh, look at this, we have one here too. So we have three Mazda keys. And what's inside here? We have another Mercedes Benz key. I need to tell the new guy to throw away the bags. We do not need the bags. We just need the, we just need the device and a label. That's all we need unless he has a reason to do this. We have a MacBook here, MacBook Air. This looks like a Asus Transformer Mini. Tablet, laptop, this is an Asus laptop. Uh, MacBook Air. Another laptop here. Another laptop here. We have one here, and what's this? Oh, we have two motherboards here. We have two motherboards here. And we have a laptop here. We have one here. A lot of IMAX. We have two here. Uh, Big Boss is working on a lot of things. That's why his bench is a little bit messy now. He's working on a lot of things at once. So he's doing iPads, laptop, laptop, MacBook. This one is local, Nintendo Switch. MacBook, laptop here, uh, iPad here, MacBook. That's a MacBook also. And he has a phone here. I mean, a lot of things to get done. A lot of things to get done. Uh, these devices are already fixed and uh, we invoice customers and waiting for payment before we ship. And this is my dad doing the packaging, orders. Let's see, He's packing an order. Somebody ordered the battery charger. Looks like he has the wick. 
he has nozzles he has uh, the 76 piece universal laptop uh, charging kit looks like a couple of syringes of flux and what's here TriStar 201 filters and this is a uh, training kit to learn how to micro solder so a customer ordered all these let's see and that's the thing when when he packages he checks that the item is inside the box and also here all right these are already done this is an xbox one x and uh, this one is an ipad right so lots of things to get done lots of things to get done i'm gonna end it right here and start organizing